on guys John here another video as I said in my salmon rod and reel setup um, video that I was going to show you how I rig my salmon rod and reels so this is going to be like how I rig my floats like each rod what I have equipped on it right now it's going to be a quicker one I mean it's it's going to be brief and straightforward anyways so yeah let's see these rigs so what I have here is my 10 and a half foot Okuma SST. I just got it. Um, that's what I used to catch my first salmon of the year. And right now I have a cold water float, 11 gram, to a seven gram slip weight right here. And I have two clear beads, kind of like as uh, bumpers or stoppers from hitting the knot and damaging my float as well. So it pretty much doesn't break the knot. So right here, this is a 48 pound P-line swivel. And what I got on right now as a leader, right as you could see, or what you can't see, I should say, um, is 12 pound fluorocarbon. This is Drennan. And then I have it all the way to a two watt owner SSW hook with a, I'm not sure if you could see it or not, but it's a egg loop knot. So as for the float, um, I got a glow in the dark bead and a smaller little bead. So it doesn't um, interfere with my stopper. I like running these uh, Dacron stoppers because I could put it through my guides. And the 11 gram float, right, um, it allows me to run heavier weight, um, an overall heavier setup, like the setup is rated for 8 to 17 pound line, so it's pretty beefy. Um, I'll run 12 and 10 pound liter on this one, right? This one, um, this one's made for, you know, big fish, big skein chunks. So now this one is my bait caster setup right here. Right, I showed you in the video. And I have a cold water float acorn. This one's in a, in a nine gram right here. And then as you can see, right, I have the two beads to the Dacron stopper. Right, once again, a larger and a smaller one. Then I have the, the beads right here. They have the beads. The weight is actually a six gram, so this is a little smaller. I like to stay within like um, the my last combo. Okay, that's you know four gram difference, but between weight and float. But this one is like a three, three gram. I like to stay between two and three grams, All right? And then once again, you have the beads, and then the forty-eight pound swivel. And then I have 10 pound Drennan. Like I said, you can't see it. To a black nickel two watt owner SSW hook. Once again, with an egg loop knot. So this float, this setup is um, pretty much a little more subtle, right? Um, still pretty heavy action, but I could use this one in rivers and stuff. I could free spool it, so that's good. And also, too, the rod will allow me to actually downsize my leader, um, being as flexible as it is, to 8 pound. So mostly I'll run 10. Um, I may run 8 pound leader, but that's only in extreme conditions. It's kind of like my light combo, if you will. Um, right here, this is an 8 gram cold water float right here once again the tandem beads the background stop and I got really small flat black beads to a six gram weight once again the 48 pound swivel from P line and I got um, 10 pound Drennan to a size one Gamagatsu octopus hook which like I said this one's a lighter duty um, this one is a switch between 10 and 8 pound liter, um, smaller chunks, 
Uh, if I want to have a little fun too, I'll just throw like a two watt on it, right? That's if the the fish are really smacking it no matter what. So yeah, that's my setup here. Uh, my float rigs, um, it's freaking hot as hell today. But yeah, so that pretty much, yeah, that's my rigs. It's pretty simple. Um, you know, I as I said, I like to have between like two and four gram difference between my weight and my float just to um, account for the, uh, the weight of the skein. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't be afraid to try out these setups. Um, it's very simple. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.